Aloha everyone. Here's a tutorial for My Girl. This is an advanced beginner arrangement. We're going to be playing nine different chords and a variety of strums, including the island strum. So if you don't know your island strum, you can visit the Stand By Me tutorial and learn your island strum and then come on back. We'll also be doing some finger picking. So I will be giving you an introduction to tablature, which is how we read the notation for finger picking. You're definitely going to need a chord chart. So visit the link below and you can download a chord chart for this song. I will be playing through the entire song first and then afterwards we'll work through the different parts of the song slowly in a tutorial. So we'll count in the song here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I got sunshine on a cloudy day And when it's cold outside I got the month of May I guess you say what can make me Okay, so let's start with our introduction to ukulele tablature. So you might be wondering, what is tablature? It's basically just the notation that we use for finger picking, and there's a convention to it. So you just have to learn how to read it. Um, if you read music, like uh, for piano score or whatnot, it's just getting used to that kind of a system. But this is way easier. They simplify it for uke players. Guitar players also use it. So if you look at your chord chart, we'll, we'll look at our intro. You basically have, that on that first line, you have four lines, and then you have a bunch of numbers on, on that line. So the lines represent the strings. You have four lines, four strings, and you'll see on the left side, the string names are next to each line. So you have G, C, E, A. Um, I'm looking at it from bottom to top because it basically maps to if you're looking at your ook from on top, right? So if you kind of lay it down in front of you, then the strings go G, C, 
E A. So you could just picture that your strings are there on the page. Then the numbers tell you what fret you're pressing down on on the given string as you're going across the staff. Let's call let's call it a musical staff. So um, you'll go across in chronicle, chronological order, and then you'll follow the numbers and press down on the frets for the strings. It happens that for this first line, it's all zeros, which means it's open fret. That means you play the play the string open string, no fret, essentially. Um, and then you'll see on the second line, we add some numbers there. So we'll look into how, how we press down on those frets. But for the first line, you're just going to let your left hand hang out. Then on the right hand, you'll see uh, on the very right side of the tablature staff there, I write pick with and then the finger name. So um, if you've watched the creep finger, t finger picking tutorial, I said four strings, you're going to assign one finger to each string. So in the same case here, you're going to use your thumb, put it on top of the G string, your index, you're going to put it under the C string. Uh, your middle finger under the E string, ring finger under the A string. So we'll pluck each of them. G, C, E, A. Right? So when you see a number on your given string, you're going to use that finger to pick it. In the beginning, it might be easier for you to just use one finger to pick it, but as you become a better player, you'll um, build more efficiency with picking by allowing each finger to have a separate string. And you can even rest your fingers on the strings like this while you're uh, waiting for your fingers turn to pick. <laughs> OK, now let's look at how the numbers go across on this first line. We have just a bunch of zeros, but you'll see our if we're starting left to right, the first zero is on the G string. So we're going to play open G string with a thumb. And then you'll see the next two numbers are 0, 0 on the C string. So you're going to play with your index two open string Cs. Uh huh. And then you're going to do that across the page. Then you have G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C, and then we end with a G. Open G, G. All right. If we put it together, we'll count it in nice and slow. One, two, Three, four, G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C, G, and then we're going to go straight into the next line. So this is kind of an easy way to start because it's all open. You just have to figure out which finger you're plucking at which time. Now the second line, we add in some more numbers. So then that, this is the next challenge. You're going to Place your hand in the C chord shape. Um, when it comes to finger picking, a lot of times you're picking around a chord shape. So if you know what chord shape it is, it makes it a lot easier. In this case, our first chord is C. So go ahead and go to your C. All right? And so based on this chord shape, you can figure out which fingers you're going to use to press down which frets. So we're reading the second line now from left to right. First, we have a zero on the C string. So open C, use your index here. And then you have a two. So you got to press down on the second fret on the C string. So let's use our index finger and push down on that second fret on the C string. And we'll pluck again with the index. Next, we have open on the E string, zero on the E string. And then three on the E string. So we'll use our middle finger here to press down. Then we have open on the A string. And then we are going to press down with our ring finger, right, our C finger usually, on that third fret. OK, so together it's open two, open three, open three. Yeah, we'll do that more in time. Two, three, four. Oh, two, oh, three, oh, three, oh, two, oh, three, oh, three. So we'll play through slowly here so that you can practice, build up this coordination of right, left, and timing. And uh, then you can build up speed, practice and build up speed to play with the original track. So 
Let's play the entire intro slowly, okay? Starting with the, that open G at the top. One, two, three, four. G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C, G, second line. O, two, O, three, O, three, O, two, O, three, O, three. Okay? Then, at the end of that, um, you're going to sing, I've got, and then go into the island strum. So uh, we'll, we'll do it again, and then I'll sing the I've got to go into the verse, just to, as a demonstration. Here we go. Slowly from the top, intro, open G. One, two, three, four. G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C, G, C, C. G O two O three O three O two O three. I got sunshine. Just island strum on a cloudy day. Good. Verse is just island strum, so I'm not going to go over that too much because. You, you can figure that out for sure. Now let's look at the chorus. So the chorus, we have something a little bit different than what we've done before. We're just gonna play two strums per chord and we're gonna move through the chords kind of fast. Okay, so we'll play through C to D minor to F to G. So it goes like this slowly. I guess you the G. Uh -huh. That's just to kind of give a little anticipation for that last line. And then from the My Girl line, we're going to play a double time strum, right? So if you would normally go one, two, three, four, double time means you play two beats for each. So you go one, two, three, four. You can think of it as one and two and three and four. And. So then for that line on My Girl, right? Feel this way, my girl, my girl, my girl, talking about double time through the F, my girl. Now two hits on G7 to go with the my girl, right, with the singing, okay? And then we do this thing where we do a pickup into the verse. So we do an up, down, up, and then into the island strum. There's a fly flying around. Sorry, fly, you're trapped. Okay, so the, it's as if you had been playing an island strum and then you just play the last half of the island strum before going back into it. So the timing is a little bit weird, but you'll get used to it. So it's like this. My girl, two, three, up, down, up, then the C. Yeah, so you're doing the up, down, up on the G7. So the timing again is on my girl. My girl, two, three, up, down, up, C. So then if I sing it, so tough, uh, we'll do that last line. Actually, we'll do the whole chorus. We'll do the whole chorus into the pickup. And here we go, down strums, two, two down strums. Two, three, four. I guess you say what can make me feel this way. One strum and then double time. My girl, my girl. So after you play the chorus, then you're going to go back into the island strum for the second verse. And then after that, you're going to play the chorus again. It'll be our second chorus. But at the end of the second chorus, you're not going to play the pickup. Instead, we're going to go back into our finger picking intro as a solo. So let me show you how that goes. Um, this is the end of the second chorus, the bottom of our page here, our first chord chart page. We'll go, my girl, and then you're going to go, ooh. Get ready for G C C G C C G C. Yep. So the timing is my girl. Ooh. 
when you're practicing in the beginning, it's just a matter of getting there. Don't worry too much about the timing. You'll that it'll become easier as you practice more. Okay, so you can see we play through that entire uh, finger picking intro again, and then we go into the interlude. So in the interlude, what we're doing is actually uh, playing some new chords that lead us to the key change. So take a look at those chords. Uh, we we visit our friend E minor. You remember E minor from from somewhere over the rainbow, and then uh, an A also, which uh, we had in Ring of Fire. So those these all of these chords in the song are really good basic beginner chords. You should have them in your beginner ukulele toolbox. So get to know them well. Um, so let's now play through the second chorus, right, into that finger picking intro as solo, and then through the interlude, and then we'll pause before the key change. Okay, so starting bottom of the first page on the chorus, I guess you say C, remember it's two hits here, C, two, three, four, I guess you pause all right now we go into the key change okay let's just go for it on D I don't need no money G no fortune no fame okay this is just island strum and you're gonna play this exactly the same way that we played the first two verses but now we're in a different key now we're in the key of D whereas we started in the key of C so this is also a little introduction into changing keys or what's called transposing. Like if you wanted to take a song and you're like, oh, it feels too low, I want to make it higher, this is how you would do it. So you'll see in uh, the first verse, the island strum, I mean, the chords are C and F. And then in the second verse, or in, the, in this last key change verse, our, our chords are D and G. So the C moves to D, and the F moves to G. We're moving up a whole key. Okay, so most of it is pretty manageable, right? The island strum, D and G, that should be fine. Now the chorus, um, we have to go D to E minor, which can be challenging. Let's play through slowly, right? So our key change chorus with the D, we'll play through slowly and then I'll go over it. Here we go, two hits and uh, E minor, guess G. And so I've found that students have a challenge with moving from D to E minor. It is a, it's quite a stretch. So get used to moving your fourth finger onto the right string and sliding it into position and then shifting your hand down. So you could try that back and forth a few times. D, move that ring finger up, slide it, and then move your hand down. One more time, D ring finger over slide it and I always say th this is preferable that to then like releasing your entire hand to find this position again because then you're kind of flailing for a minute yeah give your hand a little bit more stability moving from chord to chord now moving E minor to G E minor now see if you can keep this ring finger strong and then move the other two fingers to our G position and then move the ring finger in, into G position Let's try that E minor. Stretch these two, then move this one. E minor, stretch these two, then move this one. Okay, and A, all right. So, okay, let's play through our last chorus here, our key change chorus, through to the 
end through the outro. So an outro is basically just a variation on the parts of the song that we've already played that tell the listener that basically this is the end of the song. So um, there are little fun things that we do in there to make it different. Um, so let's start with the chorus there, D to E minor, our key change chorus, two hits. One, two, three, four. I guess you say what can make me feel this one strap way double time my girl my girl my girl talking about my girl two hits my girl talking Okay, so hopefully that should give you enough to go on. Um, the interesting thing about the key change is that the structure of the song is basically the same as what you played in the first part, but now you have the additional challenge of all the different chords. So this uh, should keep your fingers busy for a while. And uh, the finger picking is important. I really wanted to teach this tablature because Here Comes the Sun uh, is a tutorial that's coming soon. And I know that everyone's excited about playing it and it's really important that you learn how to read tablature and also just build up agility and control in your fingers. So thank you guys for watching. You can go back to different parts of this tutorial so that you can practice slowly with me. And then you can go to the top of the video to play the whole song through with me. And once you get comfortable with that, you can play this arrangement right alongside The Temptations original track. I will include a link below for The Temptations original My Girl. So this chord chart arrangement, it's the same key, it has the same intro, it even has the same key change. So you can play right alongside The Temptations and you will totally feel like an ukulele rock star. If you get a chance, record yourself, upload the video, send me a link and I will share the best ones. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, leave me feedback, share my videos, check out my other tutorials. You can also check out my 100 Days of Ukulele Songs project. If you'd like to support more ukulele videos and tutorials, please consider joining my Patreon community. Patrons get to vote for a monthly tutorial and you can upgrade your subscription and join me for a monthly online jam where we play songs together and I share some ukulele tips and techniques. There's a live chat. You can let me know what you wanna learn and we spend some time working on it. So it's a lot of fun. Hopefully you'll join us over there. You can also support by by picking up a Cynthia Lynn and the Blue Moon All-Stars t-shirts. I got t-shirts and tank tops, baby onesies, autographed kazoos. You can also check out my CDs of original music. Um, they're available. I've got actual CDs. Actually, I hand printed the cases. And then um, there, it's also av available digitally on iTunes and streaming on Spotify and Pandora and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for your support. Please keep watching. Practice five minutes a day because it's good for your brain and it's good for your heart. All right. Build up those skills. Work on that finger picking and I will see you guys next time. Ciao. Here comes the sun, doo-doo-doo-doo, here comes the sun.